Good morning, SEF. Day two in our journey where we're looking at garments and uh, the different situations that Scripture attaches to garments and clothing and things. We're going to pick up today in the book of Joshua. Now, this is where the Israelites, after 40 years of wandering in the wilderness, they're finally ready to go and take the promised land. Moses has died. Joshua has taken over as the leader. He leads them successfully in the first battle of Jericho. God instructs them with the strategy. They follow it to the T, and they get a victory. But then they decide on their own they're going to attack a city called Ai, and Joshua doesn't know what happened at Jericho. So what happened was this. Their instructions from God was to completely waste the city. Don't take any of the possessions. Don't take any of the animals. Let it just be completely destroyed, utterly. But there was a guy there that when he broke into the city, he saw something, and he knew it was good. He knew it was valuable, and it enticed him. His name was Achan. So the next time Israel goes out to fight a little place called Ai, they lost miserably. Now, they weren't ever supposed to lose. God promised them, if you, if you go into the promised land, I'll be with you. I'll give you victory. But all of a sudden, they lost. Joshua is distraught. He says, God, what are you doing? If this is the way it's going to be, I don't want to do this. And God says, you have someone amongst your own people who didn't listen to me. Instead of uh, giving everything over to destruction, you have someone that took something that I said was forbidden to take. Let me pick up reading in Joshua chapter 7. And I'm going to read um, verse 20. Now Joshua has, has pinned this on Achan. He, Achan. So Achan replied, it is true, I have sinned against the Lord, the God of Israel. This is what I've done. When I saw in the plunder a beautiful robe from Babylonia, 200 shekels of silver and a wedge of gold weighing 50 shekels, I coveted them and I took them. They're hidden in the ground inside my tent with the silver underneath. So here we see one man, one man caused a tremendous impact on all the rest of the Israelites. They lose this battle to this little place called Ai. They lose 36 of their kinsmen, die because of this guy's broken trust with God. Remember, the Israelites were in a, in a special relationship with God. God tells them, you'll be my people, you'll be my treasured possession. I'm going to reveal myself to you. I'm going to give my word to you so that you can preserve it and pass it down. But I also need you to live it out so that you will represent me accurately to the rest of the nations. And then he told him, he said, if you don't represent me accurately, I can't keep blessing you. And he gave them six cycles of discipline that he would put them through, each one uh, more severe than the next. But they were always meant to bring them back to faithfulness. Achan breaks this trust with God, but it was all over something that his eyes desired. It was, it was a, a beautiful robe and some garments. The, the book of 1 John warns us about the, the power of the lusting of our eyes, that we see things that we want whether we need them, whether they're good for us in the moment, in the passion of the moment, we can all be tempted to take them. And this is a pretty obvious uh, lesson. But sometimes what is not as obvious is that when we violate uh, God's boundaries for us and we want something that's beyond the boundaries or we take something that's beyond, we don't know the ramifications that it might bring to many, many others, even for generations. Aiken is a lesson to us of what not to do. Um, there's, there's temptation in all of our lives, and sometimes it's not just in the form of a garment. Thank you.